As you know, this week is Dyslexia Awareness Week 2024. And the theme for this year is share your story. So I thought I would share my story briefly about my connection with dyslexia. When I was young, I attended speech therapy classes um, because a lot of my words were back to front. Apparently, I would say, can I park go, mum, rather than saying, mum, can we go to the park? Um, I later was diagnosed with dyslexia at primary school. Um, I found spellings, uh, English, math, science, extremely difficult. Um, I also found communication with my fellow friends through words um, really difficult. Um, even to this day, um, I would say words which probably have no meaning within the conversation that I'm having. Um, it also can be quite daunting and be quite embarrassing sometimes, but I look back on my, um, I like to think success over the past 13 years of um, directing Elliot Smith Dance. I've been able to write many applications, funding applications, um, work with um, unbelievably great people who have been able to um, uh, offer me support within the dance sector and ac across the performing arts and entertainment and museums, galleries, uh, sectors as well. Um, and I'm just so grateful. And I think when I look back and I look to the future, I don't use dyslexia as a, um, a negative. I try to use it as a positive. And in some way I feel um, quite unique within that, um, the way I think. Um, but yeah, it can be really um, tiring and it can be really difficult at times um, because I process and I analyze everything. Um, but dance movement is my language and I feel like I found myself in what I do in my career. Um, so it's just to reiterate that if you're out there and you have recently been diagnosed with dyslexia, um, you are not alone um, and it's nothing to uh, be negative about, it's something to champion and uh, positive and just remember uh, you are not alone.